Hello YouTube, how you doing? How you doing? This is Keith Kevin Ken. Time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. It's Tuesday, day after Memorial Day, day after a holiday. And ah <laughs> these short weeks always seem so long, don't they? These short weeks always seem long. Anyway, it is Tuesday, May 30th, 2017. Oh, where did May go? Hope all of you guys are doing well. Let's talk about what I'm stuffing my pockets with. It is a Tuesday, but it's a big meeting day. Uh, I'm wearing my Mont Blanc chronograph. There's a couple of Cuban cigars, several of them that I bought, um, not one of my super expensive Cuban cigars, Quintero, but really a nice tasty cigar. It was my attempt at looking at other Cuban cigars that weren't that expensive, and I like it, I like it. My shown design pen, this is the bronze pen. Uh, Today, it's all about the vodka. It's my Mont Blanc Fin Wallet. One of my Mont Blanc Fin Wallets. And let's get the knife off of this. My Smithson from the UK notepad. And the coin today is from 1926 from the U.S. Mint taking a look at celebrating our National Park Service. Sorry for all the noise outside. I don't know what the deal is, but it's been so noisy around my apartment. I'm on the 13th floor. <laughs> These apartments are so well done. You can't hear anybody up, over you, under you, next to you, but outside comes in like it's right next to you. And I'm 13 flights up so I apologize for all the noise if you can pick it up hopefully this microphone is helping so let's talk about the knives that's what it's all about and yes it's carbon fiber again yeah usually my first day at work I lean towards carbon fiber it's like was it who, who had the the security blanket or Charlie Brown it wasn't Schroeder Schroeder was the piano guy Linus yeah it's like Linus but my security guard is carbon fiber knives. My security blanket. Kind of weird, huh? This is a real classic uh, carbon fiber cricket. It's one of the old school crickets, and you can always tell when it's old school because it's not the frame lock version, which is the current version. It's thicker. See the thickness of it? with the back spacer and it's because it is a liner lock so originally the crickets were liner locks man I have to do my crickets as a knife of the day my collection of crickets but usually they're uh, now most of you probably have seen they're all frame locks but back in the day they were like this which I really like I like them a little thicker you know um, this is my keychain knife for today. One of the rare ones, carbon fiber cricket with ATS 55 steel. That's how you can tell it's one of the older ones. ATS 55 steel. The medium knife. Yeah, I went Chris Reeve all on everybody today. You guys know I love my Encosis. I really love my Encosis. You also know that I love the knifeart.com exclusive carbon fiber Chris Reeve knives. So I actually did a two for today. Yes, this is a small Nkosi. You guys, if you follow at all, you know I call this a small 25. So I also am using my large 25. Uh, the Nkosi limited, um, they're still available. The large and small Nkosis and most of the other Chris Reeve knives are available at knifeart.com. These are exclusives there. Uh, I just happen to get the third one, 
on knifeart.com of the small Nkosis because I was hunting them down uh, once the Nkosis came out. 2.75 inch blade, S35 VN steel. You guys know Chris Reeve loves that. The carbon fiber is just excellent. A big slab of it that replaces the titanium. And then, of course, titanium with the Chris Reeve. And in Kosi's, you can tell I'm going to do a 25. If this was a large in Kosi, the clip would look like that as well off of the lock bar. That's how you can tell that they're in Kosi's, especially when they're large and not a 25. I really love this in Kosi. I love the small in Kosi's. I don't plan on a large Nkosi anytime soon. I have a lot of Sabenza 25s. And while they are improvements over the 25, not as much as one as I need. So, But the small Nkosi, since there's never been a small 25, can't wait. I want to get them all, <laughs> depending on how much money I have to get them. This, my friends, is yes. A 25, Sabenza 25, Chris Reed 25. This was also numbered, uh, number 71. I really love, I have a whole family of the knifeart.com um, carbon fiber Chris Reed knives because I love them so much. I also have a whole family of the Blade HQ carbon fiber inlaid with the three inlays of carbon fiber, which is an exclusive from Blade HQ. Number 71 out of 100 numbered, and uh, I really love this knife. Sabenza 25, if you're just familiar with 21s, the 25, there's a couple of things when you know it's a 25. First of all, you know it's a 25 when the clip is flush with the lock bar because if it was a large and cozy, which at first glance looks like this, you turn it over. Yes, there's some internal differences, but you turn it over, lock bar, clip in alignment, it's a 25. The one thing you know about the 25 is yes, it still has S35V in steel. It's still 3.6 inches. But a couple of things you can tell. First, two four choils right here. They really fit nice and feel nice. Second, unlike the 21, you get a hump right here with the jimping. So it goes up in a hump and they always have a notch there. If you're a Spydeco collector, that whole notch thing threw me off for a while because Spydeco <laughs> they sell, um, what would you call them? Not secondhand, but um, things with slight defects, knives, slight defects they sell in their shop in Colorado. And so you'll see when it's a second, not a second, I don't know what you would call it. They're new, but they have not distributed them because of some small thing, maybe it's discoloring or something. They also have a little notch in the blade to let you know that it wasn't the pure knife. Um, something to look for in your Spydecos. But this is just a wonderful knife. Did you hear it click up there? I mean, it's Chris Reeve. Sabenza 25, oh, man, nothing better. Pure carbon fiber on the front. Of course, on the back, it's all tied with the Chris Reeve Interco frame lock. And as I said, 3.6 inches of S35 VN steel from Crucible. Chris Reeve helped Crucible develop uh, S30V and then S35 VN as well. Carbon fiber day. You know, I started not going with all Chris Reeve carbon fiber. And this has become one of my favorite knives. Let me tell you, first of all, it is the Knife Center exclusive. Man, I have all these exclusives from distributors. This is um, the Knife Center exclusive Spydeco Manix 2 carbon fiber 
with CPMs, with Crucibles, Crewware, which is just cuts great, retains an edge. And of course, that Manix 2 is just so classic. Feels just so great. I'll tell you, this carbon fiber feels unbelievable. Stainless steel liner, skeletonized. I love the uh, Manix 2. I have several of them. The jimping right there. The nice ridge right here. It helps a little with the grip, but it's not jimping. It just feels good good same around here jimping up front of course you guys know i love my spydeco 50 50 choils it just gives you a chance to really control the knife a lot but with this and the handle you can grip it a number of different ways of course that spydeco leaf shape as i told you it's crew wear 3.4 inches it's not a small knife but 3.4 inches, and of course, the Spydeco ball bearing lock <laughs> that is smooth as silk. Um, now remember, this thing, I have carried it, but not used a whole lot, and it's a, one of my newer knives, but it drops like it's un believable Just a wonderful knife. I love it. Some of the viewers have talked about them having a chance to buy it as well. It's not discontinued at Knife Center. Go check it out. It is exclusive to Knife Center, but that crew wear is something else. Spydeco is releasing a lot of knives and crew wear. I have several Spydeco knives and crew wear, but they were all sprint runs, limited editions. This year, Spydeco is releasing everything in crew wear. I think they're also... Even re releasing the pair of three, man, they're they're releasing like six pair of threes, all with different blade steels. Um, so check them out this year. I think they have crew wear with that. Crew wear everywhere. <laughs> and crew wear is a wonderful steel from Crucible. That's it. That's the carry. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Ah, man, I'm hoping this week goes fast. Usually it's a four day week that. Four-day weeks always are the slowest for me. Hope you guys have a perfect day. Take good care of yourselves and your family. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.